Hey guys, I'm Amy, and you've landed on Bella's Bargains. That's my cow, Effingham, and sometimes he co-hosts with me. He's got a lot to say. This channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar and a quarter, people. So stick around, consider subscribing, and don't forget to give me that big thumbs up. And if you want to know more about the four uploads I do every week, just check out the description box for more information. Enjoy! Hello world, there's a song that we're singing. Come on, get happy. A whole lot of loving is what we'll be bringing. We'll make you happy. We had a dream, we'd go traveling together and spread a little love and if we'll keep moving on. Something always happens whenever we're together. We get a happy feeling when we're singing a song. Traveling along, there's a song that we're singing. Come on, get happy. A whole lot of loving is what we'll be bringing. We'll make you happy. We'll make you happy. We'll make you happy. Woo! Thank you, Everingham. Oh, that's so nice. I make you happy. Thank you. Okay, guys. Welcome to Bell's Bargains. My name is Amy. That was a little Partridge family. Hello world. Here's a song that we're singing. Come on, get happy. You're all seeing the little Partridge now, aren't you? <laughs> of course you are. Big star. Let's see. David Cassidy. Oh, but <coughs> even bigger than David Cassidy, Shirley Jones. Woo. I loved her in um, Music Man. There, there's a, wait, there's a song on the hill and I never heard, there's a bell on the hill and I never heard it ringing, no, I never heard it at all, till there was you, effing him. Okay, guys, guess what? It's holla for your dollar haul. We, I've got a large Dollar Tree shopping haul for you today, and um, before we get started, <laughs> I want to talk about last weekend when I did a premiere of my haul, which came out on Sunday because uh, because I just can't seem to get my internet to upload correctly. So anyway, but it was because I got a new phone and then I had to do all this research and now I know how to record with my phone. Okay, so long story short, I've had some issues. I think I've got it all solved now. I'll make you happy because I'm going to get my videos up a little bit better. All right, so... um. Last weekend, though, on Sunday, I did a premiere on Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, belated to everybody. Thank you for all the really nice Mother's Day wishes that I got from all of you. And I did a premiere. And in that premiere, I was... I'm not sure okay, stop. Siri thinks I'm talking to her. I'm not. Okay. Matter of fact, we had a fight. We're not talking now. Okay. Huh. Anyway. So, on my video last week, and I was like, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. I, and I was like, what's it from? And then in the middle of the video, I go, oh, yeah, it's from this. But I, I was completely wrong, which happens. Hey, I'm human. And so in the, in the premiere, I said, whoever answers it first wins a string of the nautical beads. Well, I can't remember who answered it, the wrong answer, but I said it was right. And so they won a string of beads. But so you have to tell me who you are. Sandy, was it you? I don't know. No, it was, I don't know. It was one of my regulars, one of my besties. And I can't go back and look because the premiere comments you can't see. And if you can, I don't know how to, but I don't think you can. So anyway, but then after the premiere was over and it went up, then somebody actually answered it correctly because it's like, I can't stand him. I can't stand him. And it's from singing in the rain. And it's the one that does the, with some talkie when um, silent films go to talkies and she talks like this. So she can't, they can't use her in the talkies. It's like, I can't stand him. I can't stand him. And her, uh, what was her character's name? Anyway, Movie Spud, ironically, was the one who gave the right answer. So, Movie Spud, you win a string of the nautical beads, and all you have to do is message me on my Facebook Messenger. I've got to go clean my glasses. I can't stand it right now. I can't stand him. Okay, no, I can't stand it. 
Okay, now they're clean. So it's really funny because my glasses seem fine and then I'll start filming and then they're dirty and I get a glare from the ring light. This ring light is awful ring light. I need to find another way to like do my lighting. I'm trying to bring it down. Eh, that's not helping, is it? I don't know what to do with it. Anyway, okay, so I need to buy another light that's like a professional light. Um, so before I get started in the haul, I just wanted to shout out Christy um, from Crafty Country. She's another channel. She sent me this thank you note for something I sent her. And like so cute. As an elephant. As an elephant. And she um, she made it on her. I think she has a cricket. So I was just like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. Thank you. I love it. I almost want to frame it. But I need nothing more in my house. It's so ridiculous. I'm, so, I'm trying to get rid of stuff. Okay. Um, also, I got, have a giveaway from last weekend. So I threw something in the middle of the video and I was like, hey, watch it. If you were watching it then, you knew how to enter the contest. So I think this is kind of a fun way to do it. Like you never know when I'm gonna say what it is to be entered into a drawing. But I'm gonna be honest, this week I'm not doing a drawing. I will do another drawing next week because um, I don't have any more nautical bees right now to give away. I'm hoping to find some more because I know you guys like those and I'll be giving them away as long as I can find them. All right, let's dive in. Do we have anything else, Effingham? Any more, any more news of the day? Uh, okay, I will. Effingham would like his hat changed. Do you want the swimming goggles? Really? I didn't. Okay. Uh, no, I know you can't go swimming, but I didn't think he'd want the swimming goggles. Oh, well. Okay, whatever. All right, let's dive in because this is a fairly large haul. Aren't all my hauls large? You guys, come on. And if you're new to the channel, stick around. Give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. We hang out in my kitchen. We have a good time. We talk. We laugh. We cry sometimes. But most of all, we just enjoy being around each other. You guys are my besties. I love sharing my chick, my chicken, my kitchen. I don't share my chicken. I, I share my cow but I, and my kitchen. Share my kitchen time with you and my hauls and my crafts. So I do four uploads every week. Totally Easy Tuesday, Crafting for the Non-Crafter. Theme Thursday, which is Crafting with Theme. Last Thursday, I did Mermaids. I love my Mermaids tales. So, Saturday, I do a shopping haul, which is holla for your dollar haul. And then Sundays, it's, um, yeah, it's a, food tasting dollar tree food tasting show with my husband marcus who and he's very funny he's gonna steal my channel i'm pretty sure of it when we go on the road in 2023 is that when we're doing it no 2025 we're going on the road in 2025 2025 it's a besties road trip so anyway um and we were calling it beanies and robes but now it's summertime so we're trying to call it bikinis and something i don't know what we're i can't wear a bikini so that's dumb but yeah bathing's bathing beauties Bathing bites. No, that sounds like shower. Okay, done. Stop, Amy. Let's get into the haul. So it's Mod Podge, not Mod Podge. It's a Hod Podge, hodgepodge of stuff. Okay, so every year they bring these out and they're the bamboo, bamboo skewers. Look at the size of these things. I mean, these have to be three foot long. Does it say how long they are? It does not. Well, I want these for crafting. I should have gotten more than one package. I think that's, I'm gonna get a t-shirt made for all of you guys that you can purchase that says, I should have gotten another one, Dollar Tree. <laughs> it's like my thing. But I want it for the wood, and I think it'd be super fun to craft with this and make something with it. So not sure what it would be right now, but that's what I picked it up for. And I'm going to start my crafting pile over here because I think it would be. Oh, yeah, you're right. For s'mores because, well, I mean, I think it's pretty thick. I don't know that this would catch. I mean, it's for a skewer for that. Imagine the size of the skewers you'd be cooking on these. <laughs> How much you could get like a two pounds of cubed steak on there or something. Okay. Oh, so I'm going to try this while I'm sitting here. Uh, oh, no, it's not in here. Never mind. I'm not going to try this, but I did buy these. So um, Pompa has really increased the products that they have at the Dollar Tree. I like Pompa. Um, and so they had the mushroom pieces and stems. So <clears throat> we're always watching what we eat. So one serving is one can drained. And do you know how many calories are in here? 40. Like what? Like just throw some scrambled eggs and some mushrooms and cheese. It'd be so good. So this is like grocery shopping. And I believe I got five of those. Who likes mushrooms? Do you all like mushrooms? I love mushrooms. Marks loves mushrooms. But I know some people don't like mushrooms. They're a fungi. Or is it a fungus? Fungu. I'm not sure. You tell me. So, but I like them. And so I bought those. I kind of want to open one up and just tell Let's do it. I'm just going to tell you like, so sometimes when they're in a can or a jar like this, there's like no mushroom flavor. It's just like slimy. 
Wow. You guys, there's a lot of mushroom flavor in that. Mmm. I have to put it in the fridge now, otherwise I'll forget. So just talk amongst yourselves. Talk amongst yourselves, besties. Okay, it's in there. Um, probably for breakfast on Saturday. I think I'll just scramble eggs with mushrooms. And anyway, okay. I buy these every time I see them. I've talked about them a thousand times before. They're my breakfast, and that's the Breakfast Essentials by Carnation. So this is what I buy for breakfast, and I have them every day. I believe I bought 20. Um, I'm spitting mushrooms out now. If you haven't tried these, they're so good. Not even sure if they're still a good buy at $1.25, but I feel like they are. Sorry for the bag noise. Every time I do this, it's a lot of bag noise. Just call me the bag lady. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, the cats are trying desperately to get into my bags because um, because they're there. New Hormel tamales. Like, what? Okay, so this is chicken and chili sauce. All right, let's talk about these just for a minute because I did buy quite a few of these too. But for those of you that are regulars, you know we're preppers. And so we'll buy food that has a long shelf life and we take it to our property and we rotate our food up at the property because when the end of the world comes, we're going to go live there. <laughs> I don't know. But we always have food and we go camping up there too. Um, and these are good until March of 2025. So we have three years on these. This is Hormel tamales. I believe I looked it up. Sharon Marcus, my bestie out there, you always look up the prices and put it on my comments. I thank you so much. You're just a doll. So I want to say that these are like, I don't know, I think they were like $2.99 a can or something. Anyway, so, and there's a casserole because you could do a spoon Hormel chili and do bake. Anyway, do a casserole with them. But if you're a camper, you just take the lid off, you take the paper off, take the lid off, and you put it on your open fire and heat them up. Ah, dinner in a can. So I did buy quite a few. I think I bought 20 of those as well. They had a lot. Like, I don't know why. What, I mean, it's not like they're going to expire soon. I don't know. Um, and then I found Louisiana's Pure Crystal Hot Sauce. I'm always buying new hot sauces because um, Marcus loves hot sauce. So we'll put hot sauce on our eggs with the mushrooms and cheese on Saturday morning. <laughs> Hi, Boji. Boji's wandering through. They're down here because my cats, Boji and Friday, they're down here because the bags are out and they want to know what's going on. Um, there's no calories in this, so just drink it straight. <laughs> it's good until... Um, February of 25, I mean, another great little thing. But I buy them, um, it's not like it's necessarily a huge, great buy, but it's just fun to have different hot sauces because he likes hot sauce. I, I like it too, I just don't like as much of it as he does. Okay, and then I found the banana wave again. Now, I hauled this and we tried this on one of our food tasting things, and it's super good for making smoothies. So we will treat ourselves, we keep frozen fruit in the freezer, and we'll treat ourselves to frozen fruit with yogurt and banana milk in it, for a snack, like a some kind of a healthy snack thing. So, and this is so good, I can't say enough. Um, and it's only 65 calories for a cup. So that's pretty low calories. Now I know fruit has more calories in it, but still it's better than eating ice cream, right? So if you find the banana wave, it is so good in smoothies. I was like, mm, yes. Okay, this was something that I found that I wanted to try with you guys. So we're going to try it. This is called Nature's Goodness Super Berry Power Blast. I think I bought five of them. There's 45 calories. It's blueberry, blackberry, black currant, and cranberry. Um, 45 calories per bottle. No sugar added. Color free. Preservative free. Gluten free. Ethically sourced. I don't know what that means. That's confusing to me. But okay. So it's um, produced and bottled in Russia. Is that what ethically sourced means? Okay, I'm not sure. Um, anyway, that's really funny if you think about it. Okay, so there's 45 calories, no, no fat, no cholesterol, no sodium. There's 13 carbs, but that's not much really. 11 grams of sugar, really not much. I'm gonna, tr I say we try it, yes? So let's get a glass and some ice. Hey, glass with ice. So there seems to be like sediment in the bottom. Can you guys sort of see that? Like, so I think obviously I would shake this. It doesn't say to shake it, but shake, 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 do, 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 do. Shake, 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 do, 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 do. Okay, so I've shook, shooken it, shaken it, shook it. I shook did it. And these are best, by the way, until 11, 29 of 23. So they have a year shelf life. And you get these cute little bottles. Like, I think these are glass bottles and I do think they're cute. Um, they've got, like, sorry guys, they've got 
Well, there's plastic on it. I didn't realize that. Maybe take the plastic off first. But I do think they're cute little bottles. Like, I feel like you could make some cute farmhouse decor out of them. All right, so let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. So you can really taste the cranberry. It's got that little tart of cranberry in it because there's cranberries in it, right? Mm-hmm. It's, um, mmm, mmm. I like this. Blueberry, blackberry, black currant, and cranberry. I feel like it's only good on ice, though. It's only 45 calories vodka, by the way. <laughs> Work wonders. Um, yeah, I know. Don't use your teeth for stuff like that. I'm going to take the top off of it. I mean, the plastic off the top. Okay, so, but also, I would say that these are super cute bottles for doing, like, a cute craft with. Very cute. With a red top on it. So, there's another thing. I should craft with this. Oh, yeah, I'm doing a haul. I have to craft at the end, don't I? Because that's my new thing. I do a craft for you at the end of all my hauls. All right, let's keep going. What else do we have? Oh, it's just a sh... Oh, we have more tamales. Don't need to get those out of the bag, do we now? Um, oh yeah, so they have all like the summer beach stuff out. And, um, so I grabbed three of the castle. Um, I mean, they're a bucket, but it's like for making a sand castle because I want to do, I told Marcus, I said, let's do a beach party this year. Um, a great big beach pool party. And so I thought it would be really fun. Maybe I already said this to get little kids pools and put sand in them and then people could build sand castles. So I just thought it'd be kind of cute. Also be a very cute little decoration. And then also I thought like for putting chips in and stuff like that on your buffet table, I got the three colors. I got the yellow and the blue and the red. You know what else you could do with these, you guys? Oh, you could totally paint them and make a really cute castle for like the fairy garden people that are all different sizes because there's something wrong with fairy garden stuff. Anyway, I thought those were cute. And so I grabbed one of each color just to show you guys because I do want to do like this pool party theme and just sand in those. All right, I'm always picking these up. They're not always there. So I do try and pick them up when I see them. Um, so I use these to make things in my crafting. Um, and I'm going to do another challenge, another one of those unconventional challenges when it comes up. And so... I would use this in my unconventional. You've seen me make little hats with them, like super cute little things with them. Um, I also feel like this could be a bird's nest. So anyway, I grabbed it to throw into my unconventional supplies because I want to do that challenge again next time. And so I'm picking up stuff as I see it. I don't even necessarily know what I'm going to make with it. It was just like, oh, you know, it's metal and, and okay, whatever. Enough, right? Okay, here's more carnation breakfast drinks. I don't need to pull those out, do I? make sure there's no surprises in there like some really cool thing that I'm not showing you oh I hear glassware so it's probably more of those juices it is all right I can't say enough that juice is really good you guys more I'm just picking this stuff up and putting it up here I'm gonna put all this food away when I'm done and this is just more of the Hormel tamales I hope you guys find those because that is a good buy on that all right let's get into some craft stuff I think we're through the groceries um this is my favorite color, this green. So I had to. <laughs> I'm like, I have to. I love these. I have no idea. Oh, I think they look so cute in your mouth. Oh, uh huh. Right? I mean, no. Wait, what? But you, but you, but you do. You literally eat plants. That's what. Okay, Effingham, I'm not going to argue with you. I'm just not, not, not in the mood to argue with you, but... Uh, okay, yep, we're good. Anyway, it's my favorite color, and it's like the Gerb Gerber daisies. Is that what they're even calling them? They're just... Yeah, they are Gerber. Gerbera? Is that really how you spell it? I thought it was just Gerber, but is it Gerbera? Maybe I'm wrong. I could be. I don't know. Anyway, bought them just for the color. I'll do some craft with them. I'm just not sure what. Oh, and I found... I have a little granddaughter, and I'm going to send some stuff off because I found something really cool. Um, to send off. My daughter just had a baby boy. And so I found something for that. But then I saw these and I was like, yes, these are Essie. So legwear for kids. You guys, Sharon, look it up for me. You get two pairs of socks in here. So it's like 60 cents, 62 and a half cents for each pair of socks. And these are the cutest little patterns. Look, 
These are little girl socks. Look, it's like a kitty. And then we have hearts and then just the two colored ones. Rainbow of hearts, the two-tone. This one has like a panda bear on it. So cute. I think I just got those three sets. Um, but they're not. You know they're not $1.25 for the package of the two. You know they're more than that. So anyway, I just snagged those to send off to her because um, she's they're not going to quite fit her yet, but soon. She's only like a year old. All right. Then, um, oh, I found a shirt, another shirt. So this one is a red Gildan and it was, it's a 2X, right? So I know somebody talked about, they wanted to see me do cutting out of a t-shirt and oh, maybe that'll be my craft. Maybe this will be my craft. Maybe I'll do a DT threads at the end to show you guys how I cut up a t-shirt like this and just cut the neck out and I'll cut them up so that you're just more complimentary on women. Cause women, like I have a lot a, more of a, a, a t-shirt neck on today, but normally I don't, I cut these out because it's, it's super, bleh, up. when you've reached a certain age, you should not do that because we get the jowls and the wrinkles in here and all that. Way too much information. That was your public service announcement for my haul today. Then I also found this um, purple one, also a 2X. And so these are for me, but I'll throw them into the DT threads so I can do some stuff with them. So I maybe I'll do one of those today as my craft. That might be kind of fun. So we'll see what else I pull out of here because I don't really remember what's in here. Because um, that's how it goes. <laughs> oh, I found two more bunny tails. Look at this one. Ah, you screaming. Um, and I take these and I use them on bunnies at Easter. So this will just go into my Easter craft. These are super soft. But I couldn't resist these neon colors like this. I was like, yes, 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 yes. So snag those. Keep bending down for what's in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so this is a big thing of liquid hand soap. I had gotten the, they had a coconut one, I think, from soft soap. So then I saw this one, and I picked this one up to take off to our camping site um, because it's so huge and it's so nice. Uh, and it's just like, what a deal for a dollar 25. This is 32 fluid ounces. Like, wow. I mean, that's a lot of soap for that amount of money. Okay. And then I found some toys that I was like, oh, they're so cute. So I had a couple of thoughts about these. Like these are the grow ones, right? So grow creature, you throw it in water and it grows to 600 times its original size. But I was like, well, do I have to? Couldn't I just use these as little miniatures on some nautical thing? I feel like I can, right? Don't you? <laughs> and hope it doesn't get wet. So I just saw these as like little miniature sea things for some nautical craft. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll just throw them in my beach theme stuff. Maybe we'll get um, a kitty pool and fill it. No, we have a pool. <laughs> it just throw these in the pool. Be like sea life in there. <laughs> There's a stingray in your pool, Amy. I know. I threw it in there. Okay. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I snagged these because I had made that um, clamshell thing that the cats broke on my Thursday video. Because if you want to see it, it came out really cool, and then the cats broke it. So it's still sitting here because I'm not going to fix it. I think I'm just going to dissect it. But I thought I'd used up so many of my large pearls that I needed more large pearls. But now I'm going to recycle them all because, yeah. Um... These are nautical stickers, which I don't think that I had found before. If I have, tell me. <laughs> you guys know more if I have it or not. I don't think I did. Um, and I just thought they were super cool. So put them on something I don't know. Um, I did the, on Thursday's video, I did that chalk book thing. And I used some stickers on it. And it was super cool with the mermaid theme. So something like that it would be great on. It looked really cute, actually. And then I threw beads on it, too. Okay. This is, they had this out in their shoreline. And I was trying to figure it out, what is this going to be a new thing? So you put out um, brushes to match your season. Is this new? I think it is. I know it is. So they had the shore living brushes. I was like, okay. I don't know why. Maybe because they're white. So they're like match your shoreline decor while you're crafting. <laughs> you got me. I don't know. Okay. And then, um... These are new products or new little things that they had in their crafting area. And I was like, yes, 
Yes and yes. Okay, first of all, this guy, which is so cute. Look, it's a it's a mason jar and it hangs. Why didn't I get two? That's what my t-shirt's gonna say. I should have gotten two because I could have two-sided it. <sighs> anyway, I didn't. Okay, so just one. I'll put it on the sign or something. But so this is chalkboard, so super cool. Somebody did, um, I was part of the fruity tray challenge uh last week, I think. I can't remember who did it, but she had one of these and she painted strawberries in it. It was actually really, really, really cute. So that, somebody used it for that. But these, oh, I love these. So I picked them up and I was like, oh, those are cool. And I thought they were one, but they weren't. They're two. They're putting, they're doing tags that are two. So this one isn't really tag shape, nor is this one, but I like it. That's okay, still gonna use them, right? But these are tag shaped. Check these out and they come in twos, right? I'm like, oh, maybe I'll make nautical tags for my craft today. Okay, so anyway, these are tag shaped, so I really like these. I'm not sure as much understand. Somebody tell me what I'm missing here on this, where it's the two planks. Yeah. Why? I don't know. Okay, but I do like the tags. I definitely like tags. Okay, um, let's see, where else are we going today? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Health and Beauty. So, I think I got the other one too. They have um, six strips, ultimate whitening charcoal. And another one I think that's mint. So I grabbed them each because I thought Marcus and I would put them on. <laughs> I can bear. I don't know. Um, so, but that's a pretty good buy. Six of them for a dollar twenty-five. If they work, because when you buy a package of these, it's like twenty-five to thirty-five dollars, and I think you get twenty in there. I'm not sure, something like that. So this is a good buy. If they work, we'll find out. Um, I know I've bought these before. I think, but I bought them again. So the soft scrub toilet care duo cubes, and they're good for they're safe for septic tanks. We're on a septic here. So I was like, okay, I'll try those. Um, and it's Sapphire Waters. Does it smell? It does smell kind of good, you guys. I'm going to sneeze now. Okay, well, anyway, it lasts up to four weeks and you put it in your tank and it helps keep your toilet clean. You know, when they find that magical thing that just keeps your toilet spotless, I'll be happy. Okay, brand new um, at the... <gasps> I just had the greatest idea, you guys. Oh my gosh, I might have to do this. This is a great idea. Okay, so these are brand new at the Dollar Tree and it is, you put your phone in it and it keeps your phone um, water safe, right? So this is so cute. I think I have to do this. Well, what if I did, oh, what if I made an invitation for our party and put it in these and then gave everybody a thing to keep your phone safe while you're at the party? But mostly it's just a cute way to put a, um, put an invitation in here. Yes. See, because it's clear. So I can do an invitation and put it in there. And it says summer slam. Is that what it says? No. I don't know what it says. Was that the brand of it? Mm, you guys have no idea what that says right there. <laughs> Snowmack. I, I don't know. Somebody tell me. Can we go? I don't know. But anyway, cute idea. Wouldn't that be cute though? I like to put my little invitations in here. Oh, I might do that. So these are like, they're like, it's like a blow up almost around the rim of it. And then it comes with a, um, a like a necklace thing. And then you open these up. Mm, you go this way. I don't know how you do it. Oh, it, you put them in there and then you lock it. Like, can you see on the back? Now when I lock it, it goes like that. That's supposed to keep it water safe. I don't know if it actually works. That'd be a cute invitation to the party. I might have to do that. I'm always, I think fun invitations are just really cool and really memorable. Like when we did our wedding invitations in the bottle, they were, they were just so cute. Some people have still never opened them. Like, yeah, I couldn't open it. I wanted it as a decoration. All right, weirdos. Okay, brand new. I just like these. <laughs> I don't know if they work. I just like them. I have no idea. They're car fresheners, but look, check them out. So this is, um, it's a, it's got a suction cup on it. So these all have suction cups on them. So you put them like on your window. The butterfly one is really pretty. Look, this one says taxi. How cute is that? 
So you can put this on like your dash, like your mom. Um, and this one is a cool dragonfly, but I love this one because I live in Arizona where we have lots of lizards, right? I mean, I just thought these were fun. Like what a fun um, stocking stuffer. I know, not yet, but start collecting Easter baskets. I know, not yet for teenagers that have a car or something. Super cute. I just think those are super cute. I'm actually going to use them. I might send some to my grandson or I'm going to use them in my car or my granddaughter. They both have cars. Um, and this is an item. I've never seen it there before, so I don't know. But it's a card stand. Can you see on the picture there? Like it's a stand. But I was thinking a stand for a sign or something for a, a craft. So I'm going to put it in my unconventional and maybe use it. Like maybe it would work on the, um, on the basin jar to like stand it. Because, see, it's, it's like, it's a holder. Can you guys, oh, there you go. Like that picture right there. Can you see it? I don't know. Maybe. I was thinking maybe. I'll throw it in there and see. We'll see. Some florals, because the lilacs or the lavender are out. And last time I got them, I can't remember. I got too many dark or light, and I couldn't remember, so I just grabbed a couple more. I don't know. But then I found these. These are lilacs. See? There's the, there's the problem. Here's lavender, and here's lilac. How do you tell the part? Maybe the leaves? These leaves are awful. These leaves are very pretty. Um, but uh, this color just screamed at me. It's so periwinkle and it's so pretty. I don't know what for, but, <laughs> and then I love these because they're like little miniature florals. So are really nice when you're doing crafts and you don't want like a huge, massive floral. Okay, um, and one fell off. So these always fall off. Come, came off of this somewhere, right? Somewhere there's a missing. There we go. I found it. Let's put it back on there. Probably come off again. Um, <clears throat> I think I bought some of these last week and I bought them again. Because <laughs> I, I forget. But I think I bought some because I wanted to make it a thicker anchor. Well, it's going to be really thick by the time I'm done with it now because I'm going to take the pieces and put them all together so I get more of a three-dimensional anchor so I could just make it an anchor all by itself and not be part of a sign or anything else like that. Okay, enough about that. Um, I just think this is such a pretty print. So I feel like I want to Mod Podge it onto something and I don't necessarily need the words. I just really loved the print. thought it was really pretty. It's been a long time since I bought any um, of their art framed stuff. But that was absolutely beautiful. So I did pick that one up. And this broke. Well, I'm gonna throw it away then. But dang, it happens. So this was, it said mom. I was actually gonna take it apart and get the mom off there and use this as a floating picture frame. So yeah, bye-bye. Not anymore. That's too bad. It was really cute and it was out for mom's day, but that's okay. I don't have, I have to throw it away. Because <laughs> I have to. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I love these. They're massive blooms. So huge. I'm not big on the sparkles on them. I'll get past it. But they're just beautiful, huge blooms. And I was like, okay. I think pretty sure they had them out. They're basically out for Mother's Day. But I'm like, I'm going to do some craft with them. I even like the leaves on these are look more like an actual rose leaf than, you know, a lot of times they're leaves are horrible. Anyway, so I picked up these three. I don't think they had any other colors. I think this was it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was it. Anyway, um, I was excited to find that. Oh yeah, here's the other one. Oh, it's coconut oil. So one was charcoal and one's coconut oil. So we're going to try those. We'll see how those work. I don't know. Oh, and another one. Oh, there's another butterfly. This one's purple. The other one was like tealish, right? So I wonder what they smell like. They smell it through the package. I'll know when I open it up. Oh, this is a good one. This is super good. Stain Wizard Carbona. Carbona? I don't know how you say it. Um, Sharon, look it up. I don't remember how much it is. $8.99? No, $6.99. Oh, okay, whatever. Super good if you find it there, buy it. I think I bought three. They had a ton of them. I did. I bought three um, for the pre-wash stain remover. Such a good buy. See, this is like, why is it there? I don't know. Who knows? Nobody knows. We just can't figure it out. We don't know. Oh, here's another bunny tail. Look at that red one. Yeah. See? My bunny tails. 
This one's big too, like nice big bunny tail. A uh, new, new little wood picture frame things. And I was like, oh, so they've had the little ones that were just like this. They had little ones. And now they have them in a bigger size. I was like, well, that was nice of them. Same price, bigger size. So, and they're like, you know, the, the planks in them, they like literally are in, they literally are, the prefaces are in there. So I got two of the natural wood and two of the black to do some craft with. I don't know what craft right now. I don't know. Oh yeah. Oh, and there's the white and the yellow gecko also for one of those air fresheners. I bought myself a poppet. I don't know if these work or not. I've never bought one from the Dollar Tree, um, but I got a new phone. And so my poppet that was on there, it was a picture of my grandkids that my daughter had given me, but it was all worn. So I was just going to, I'm just going to, I bought a new one that matched my sparkly cover. We'll see. I'll let you know if it works or not. Um, what else? What else? Oh, I bought two of more of these because I wanted to do a craft where I pile two on top of each other and one next to it. Just an easy, 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 easy peasy craft. Um, keep going. I got one more bag. Okay. So I guess I picked up two of those, which is fine. This is, I've never seen this before, Vaseline all-purpose cream there. I've never seen it there before. Um, for all-purpose, Vaseline and jelly glycerin and vitamin E. Um, I'm always putting uh, stuff on after my shower and or at work. My hands get really dry. So I thought I would give this a try. Um, yeah. It's probably not a great buy for $1.25, I'm guessing. So it does look like a lotion. See that? Oh, it smells, that smells kind of good. Not like a, it almost has a jasmine smell to it, but it doesn't say that on here. Well, I like the smell. That's good. <laughs> Another floral, just some more of the little itty bitty flowers. I like to get those. I found another ladder that says love and I have an idea for um, some ladders. So I picked another one up because then I have two of the same color for something that I want to make with them for a challenge actually. And, um, oh, some wash packs for tennis. By the way, these work amazing. I use them on my tennis shoes. They work amazing. So I found them again. So I just grabbed one more package of it to make sure that I have some. Oh, and I love this one. Now this one I can totally see Mod Podging onto something because it's just beautiful, like black and white print and it would just look so pretty on something. I don't even know what. Put it on something and then put the word family or home in front of it. It's just so pretty. So not probably keeping it in the frame, just using it for the um, pattern that it is. It just, it's so pretty. I was so shocked when I saw that. Oh yeah. Oh, I'll save these for last. Because I found something I hadn't found before, which is really cool. From the Shoreline, Shore Living line. I'm going to unwrap them, but I'm going to show them to you last. They are so cool and so worth $1.25. All right, so a couple more things, and then we're done. So this wasn't a super long haul. I found these. All right, guys, this is where I'm talking about. Like, you have to keep your eye out on things. Um, first of all, I love, they're both bee theme, right? So this one says busy bee, and this one's just a bunch of bees. Let's check out the inside. There's bees all over, right? I was like, that's so cute, but I'm thinking I can make something using this background, put it into a little frame and make something. And then this one though, check this out. There's just bees all over it. I'm like, oh, I could tear those pages out and Mod Podge onto something and make a cute bee thing. All right, this is like a steal of the century, gold toe, which I found all those socks, and then I found um, these stockings. So I'm gonna send them off to my granddaughter, they're purple. These were $14. What? $14 for $1.25. I was like, are you kidding me? That's like insane, isn't it? I mean, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you like purple, but you, these won't work for you. Nope. Anyway, $14 for $1.25. Insane. That's insane. Oh. Okay, then I'm walking through the Dollar Tree craft section, and I look down, and somebody 
had taken these and piled them up. And I was like, wow, that's so cute. I'm going to get them just because I want to do that. So they had them piled like this. And I was like, oh my gosh, you could just, I'm not going to be able to do it right now. No, wait, hold on. Hold, please. Hold, please. We're not going to be able to do it right now. But you'll get the idea, I think. Maybe I can pick it up and show you. I was like, I should have thought of this before. But look, if I put four of them together and then lay it down, it's a crate. It's like a little miniature crate. <gasps> that should be my craft right now, shouldn't it? I think it should be. I'll make a cute little miniature crate and put, no, I don't know what my craft's going to be. I have to think about this. Okay, but how stinking cute is that just to put them together? And then obviously, you know, you would, you would put it down like this and it's a little miniature crate. Isn't that cute? I don't know why I've never thought of it before. So um, I should use, I should do that one actually for the challenge. What would you make? Cause that's like a good little, good little thing. Okay. So then I found this. Sharon, please look this up. Cause we know this was not a dollar 25. This is Disney baby. I'm sending this to my daughter, Disney baby. And this is Mickey Mouse milestone belly stickers. So you put a sticker on them all these stickers for every month to take their photo. How cute is that? And look at the size of them. Like how cute. And then it just goes all the way through. This was not $1.25. This was not. This was probably $20 at Toys R Us or something. $1.25 for this. Is that insane? And it's so stinking cute. So it's Disney Mickey, ha Mickey Mouse. Um, I, I don't know why it's there. But yeah, I picked that up to throw in the mail to her. I was like, that's so cute. It's gotta be, it had to be a $20 thing. Okay, the final thing I'm gonna show you and then I'm done, cause this is like so cute. I can't believe I found these. I was so thrilled. They are so beautiful. And who doesn't love these? <gasps> They're starfish. They're ceramic starfish. Check out this blue one in their shoreline. The blue one's phenomenal. So I got two blue and one white. I don't know what I'm doing with them. <laughs> I always say that. I don't know what I'm doing with them. I wish that they could match and you could put two together, but they do not. Anyway, that would work anyway. So incredibly beautiful. And these are like good and sturdy. These are so, so pretty. I hope you guys can see the color on this. And that was my favorite thing from this haul was these. Okay, what was your favorite thing? Hmm? All right, I'm gonna pause here and we're gonna tell you who the winner is of the set of nautical beads, the three sets. There's um, a sailboat, a star, a sailboat, a starfish, and what's the other one? Sailboat, starfish, I guess I have to go look at them. Well, let's draw the winner first. Okay, so let's see who won the um, set of the three beads. All right, so the thing that I did last weekend was I said, so it's, oh, it's an anchor, um, the, an anchor, the sailboats, and the seahorse, and the starfish, sorry. Here's the starfish, starfish. So those are the three sets of beads that I'm sending off to the winner. So last weekend, what I did was I said, okay, so um, in the middle of my video, I said, what's your favorite section of the Dollar Tree? And then you're entered in to win. So let's see, I'm gonna get my comments right now. I've already pasted in the link for that video, so getting the comments, and I've got a nice start right here. Boom. So let's see, hopefully right away it comes up with somebody that made it. Ah, oh, it does. It says, hi Amy, my favorite section of Dollar Tree is all of them. I have found cool things to repurpose in all the departments. If I have to pick one, then I will say kitchen. Thank you Amy for bringing all those cool items to our attention. I cannot wait to see the creative fun things you create. And CPAT is the winner. See, Pat, you won. You won the three strands of the nautical beads. So make sure that you message me through Facebook Messenger and give me your address and I'll get those sent off to you. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a craft and I've decided that I am gonna do a t-shirt and this is gonna be super simple, but I forgot to get my scissors. So I'm gonna say goodbye right now and you guys stick around if you wanna watch me cut up a t-shirt, all right? For the rest of you, everybody, have a great day, great week, a great life. Evingham, say goodbye. Thank you very much, Effingham, the Effingham. All right, and as always, from your singing crafty crafter, 
Happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree. Tell me which thing was your favorite thing on today's video and stick around if you wanna watch me cut up a t-shirt for my craft today. All right, so we're not gonna do like film down because I'm just gonna show you guys exactly what I'm doing as I do it. So on a t-shirt, to change the neckline, I just lay it flat and then I cut along this here. I guess I have to show you down below, don't I? Like as I'm cutting it. Okay, never mind. Okay, I lost the footage where I cut out the neck, but I just, you can see, I just took the scissors around and cut the neck out following the um, binding of it, or whatever you call that, I don't know. Anyway, this is one of those head bandana things. They sell them in like the sock area and you can put it on your head, you can put it on your neck. And I have a bunch of these and so I grabbed this one that matched the shirt so perfectly. Folded it, for first I had cut it open and then folded it four times over and then cut strips and tied them together and I'm just braiding them. But because this type of material is what it is, it sort of curls within itself so you don't, even though the material isn't printed on both sides, you still get like a good braid and you see just the purplish colors. Anyway, it's a super good match. So I took three strands braided and then once I got to the end, I just tied another strand on each of the three ones and continued the braid. And I had to do that twice. So this is three lengths worth of those strips to get the length of the braid that I needed. So I just tied those pretty tight and then I cut off the ends, <coughs> like the little tails where it tied together just so that wasn't sticking out right there. Just, just cut like the little bits off. So you can tell where it's knotted, but it's fine. It's not a big deal. Um, and then, so I just continue to do that. Like I said, I did that twice. So I did three lengths worth of braiding. <coughs> I suppose I could have also like hot glued them together maybe. Um, but I didn't have my hot glue gun out and I was trying just to do it without doing that. Anyway, now I'm sorry, slightly out of frame here. All I'm doing is taking where the shoulder seam is and folding over and cutting a little slit on each side because I'm going to have the braid go through the neck of this. And now I'm doing the other side and just sort of visually measuring to get it about the same. And then I'm going to put the t-shirt back together, fold, and in the middle do two more slits. The two slits together, or close together, are where the braid is going to go under and not on top of the shirt. Um, so there. And then I do it one more time in between the shoulder and the middle of the neck. And I'm folding over so that I'm cutting both the back and the front. Does that make sense? Gosh, I hope so. So I ended up, see, with these slits. Then I start at the front of the shirt. I weave under or through the slits, right? Go under and out, under and out. Go all the way around the shirt. And when I get to the front, I weave back through, you'll see here in a second, just trying to make sure that the braid's going the same way. So see, I sort of crisscrosses through in the front. I'm cutting off the little tails on that third little strand there, and then I just knot it, and then it's done. That's like super cute. So easy, so easy, no so. Just cutting off the tails on the knotting part. So easy. Okay, but then I had leftover headband stuff, head wrap, whatever you call those things. I'm so sorry, guys. And I forgot to sh show it to you. No, I didn't forget. I lost that footage. So I'm just taking the strips that I have left, and I'm cutting them into fourths. And I'm looping them onto a rubber band. So I'm getting four little strips out of the one long strip, and I'm just looping it over the rubber band, right? I don't know what kind of knot you call that. A loop knot. And there it is. I have a cool... Okay, so here's the shirt. Can you see it? So all I did was... Well, you'll see in the video. I cut the neck off and then I took one of those... Oh, what are they called? Head wrap things. Anyway, you put them on like a neck or it could be a headband and they sell them at the Dollar Tree. Well, I took one of those, which I had in my stuff, and I cut it up and I braided and I made the thing here. And then 
I made this scrunchie to match. So, there you go. Uh, I can't tell if I'm showing you guys, so hopefully I am. Anyway, cute, yeah? Mm, there you go. That was craft from today's haul. So I just redid a t-shirt. I think it's kind of cute. Okay, hope you guys like it. I really like the scrunchie. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed watching that. So we'll see you back here on Tuesday. No, tomorrow for um, bikinis and shades. Yeah. For uh, Dollar Tree food taste testing. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.